called uh, me talking about Viacom and YouTube and all that and uh, I just want to tell you guys if you haven't already watched it you can watch it right now and what I'm mainly going to say before I even start this off is that I won't be talking about TNA no more until Viacom quits doing this to YouTube and I ain't going to be talking about it no more because Viacom owns Spike TV the network that broadcasts TNA so um, I won't be talking about it no more because I'm in the fuck Viacom campaign so I'm just going to be talking about WWE now until Viacom stops this now uh, I think last Monday Night Raw we seen a fatal four way match we seen Batista versus Kane versus John Cena versus JBL whoever won would be the number one contender for the world heavyweight title at um, the Great American Bash so you know Batista won the match and now it's going to be Batista versus CM Punk for the world heavyweight title at Great American Bash so what's going to happen next is that well after when that match was done or after when it ended Kane went on a rampage okay he went on a rampage and was harassing WWE employees and went over to the commentary booth and uh, or the commentary table and grabbed the hold of Michael Cole he brought Michael Cole in the ring and kept saying to Michael Cole is he dead or is he alive is he dead or is he alive and uh, a lot of people were confused about this but now we know who it is from what I know it could be Paul Burr uh, Undertaker and Kane's manager and in storyline fodder it could be possibly Paul Burr now everybody's saying that it's Undertaker it could be Undertaker but I think Undertaker's going to come back next Friday night or whenever you know I'll get to that here in a few minutes but I think it's Paul Burr now as I was talking about a few minutes ago or a few seconds ago Undertaker is uh, going to be coming back this month but last smack, last night we seen uh, Edge get back with Vicky and the wedding is on they will be married they will get married I don't know if it's next week but I do know that probably next week during or it, whenever they have the wedding like right in the middle of it Undertaker is going to come out that's what I think it will happen I think Paul Bear will come back with Kane Undertaker will come back on Smackdown and then he'll leave Smackdown he'll go to Raw you know there you have it and uh, you know Percy Pringle the guy that plays Paul Bear he said that uh, it says on his website do I know anything about Kane saying is he alive or is he dead or is he dead or is he alive and he said that that's very very it's a very interesting storyline but I have nothing I don't know anything about it yet so it's he's probably just saying that maybe he probably is coming back we don't know for sure now uh, from what we've there's some more new matches that's been confirmed at Great American Bash John Cena's going to fight JBL in a, in a New York City parking lot brawl and uh hold on and the new another match is uh Michelle McCool versus Natalia for the Divas Championship I, I got a question okay why in the world do they make a Divas 
championship. We already got the women's championship. Why make a Divas championship exclusively for SmackDown when you got the women's championship exclusively on Raw? It makes no sense. Well, we got two women's division titles now. The Divas Championship and the Women's Championship. I thought women were Divas. It's just messed up. I think the Women's Championship's better. The Divas Championship looks like something made out of plastic. But anyways. So what's going to happen is that after I think when this happened there's been something else that's been happening now the Hogan's which I consider the most dysfunctional family ever in the world now Brooke Hogan is thinking about making a reality show and it's already been planned out called Brooke Knows Best you know what I have to say about that WTF why are they letting Brooke Hogan take over Hogan knows best? It's just so messed up. Even though the family's stupid now. But, um... And a former NASCAR driver, Hermie Sadler, I think it's Elliot Sadler's brother, is now signed a contract for TNA. But I won't be able to see him because I'm part of the FICOM. The part of Fuck Viacom campaign, and I ain't gonna watch anything they produce. So, um, that's about that's about it for the Stu this fifth episode of Stu Family's Wrestling News. It's the Stu Family saying thanks, guys.